why don't you fill us in on this bout, Glenn? We got a celebrity out there. All right, 138. Uh, most people are familiar with Carrie Broad from uh, Manalp, and he was the number one seed here. And the uh, number two seed was Steve O'Connell from Red Bank Catholic. Carrie Broad's in the red, and uh, Steve is in the in the green. Carrie Broad was the last year's uh, state champion. He did have a few losses during the year. He had a 31-3 30, and three record and uh, lost a couple times to Mark Francis from Manchester. He lost in the districts and in the region finals. But He lost uh, them during the season also in the short conference tournament. And he came back and he, he beat him in the state finals. And then Carey goes right to work. Carey's tough. He's pinned his way through the tournament so far. Super strong kid. Here we go on a pancake there. Has Carey gone to the second period yet in this tournament? I think he's got all first period pins. Yeah, that's an interesting story about Carey and Francis. Uh, Francis had beaten him several times during the season, and they had worked out together in uh, some of the championship workouts that we had. And uh, I really thought that Francis had the upper edge on him. And they both got put in separate brackets in the States and wound up meeting in the finals, and uh, he just took it to him. Connell's in trouble now, Joe. He was a district medal winner last year. He was uh, in the third place in District 22 at uh, 129. But it doesn't look like it's going to help him right now. He's in there with a buzzsaw. Yeah, just for some of you younger wrestlers, Carey, like I said, is a state champion. He's a super wrestler. But he's also very, very strong. It's hard to believe how strong he is. And a lot of things he does are very unorthodox, but he gets away with them because he is so strong. He's just super aggressive, and he's always trying to put you to your back. He does take a lot of chances. Like I said, he's just so strong that he does get away with it. After one period, we have an uh, 11-1 lead for Carey Broad from Manalapan. What do you think the chances are of Carrie Broad repeating as a state champion this year, Joe? Here we have the two Red Bank Catholic coaches, uh, Coach Barker and Coach Perna. Always working. Again, very high there. Any other wrestler would have been reversed right there. It's real high, did not have the leg in, trying for a Jacobs, took the leg out, just stepped over on him. I don't know how he gets away with some of the stuff he does. He's just, just really got super balance. Okay, working on the half with a Double grape there, a little stretcher. Very high, very high here. Up, oh, now he comes back chest to chest. Got to stretch him here, pick the head off the mat. Looks like it might be all over here. And look at how high he's wrestling. It's not sound like I'm criticizing you. Huh? It's not somebody you'd want to copy. Yeah. Very I, I hate to style. criticize him because, he, you know, there's no real argument with success, but I just like to caution some of the younger wrestlers out there. There he goes. It's all over. I'll tell you one thing about him. He can wrestle for me any day of the week. Again, he's a super kid, as all the kids are from Manalapan. Uh, D Coach DeAndre has done a real good job there also. Took a program that really hadn't had a winning season in I don't know how many years. And last year they went up number one in the shore. And again, they're rated number one this year. Matter okay, presenting the medals here, we have three-time state champ Luke Scove. Again, it's really nice when these guys come back to, to the tournament here. Luke's now wrestling out at Oklahoma. Home for the holidays. He was the first four-time champion we've ever had here at the Classic. 
He also set a state record last year with the number of wins. And uh, I believe he really got a raw deal in not getting the most outstanding wrestler in the state. While Barna was outstanding, I think uh, the accomplishments that Luke had really overshadowed anything that anyone else could have done. And here's, uh, again, returning state champ, Carrie Broad, two-time champion. Classic. 